let's just talk about moisture content of timber for a while. It's quite important for joinery and for firewood. And uh, a lot of people get quite confused about this issue. So let's go down to basics to start with. You have such things as moisture meters. Here's quite an old one. As soon as you take the cap off, it, uh, it activates it. And uh, there's these two probes. Now I stick my finger across it. You might be able to see the lights move up and down. So let's just zoom in a bit. So I stick my finger across the probes and there it's moving up the scale like that. So I'm just going to poke the prongs in a bit of, or the probes, in a bit of timber, joinery timber. And there we go. I can't quite see. 15%. That's pretty good for joinery. That's not bad for window frames and uh, maybe doors, but if you were wanting to put it into a centrally heated house, then that's not dry enough. The timber will actually shrink from that point. And I'm going to talk about why it shrinks and moisture content in a minute. Well, just whilst we're here, try a piece of firewood. This is a bit of what looks like sycamore. Been in the shed for about a year and it is 19%. So it could do with being better. Right, so the structure of wood. Those viewers who are familiar with my channel will recognize this book. If you're into wood burning, it's the one. I'm just going to the how the timber dries chapter. First of all, there's a picture of the cells within wood. They're tubes and they have these pores here that, that allow moisture to move from one tube to the next tube sidewards. You understand this is a cross section through. Some types of cell in conifers have only these pores in the walls of the cell, whereas the, uh, the cells found in hardwoods, these tubes have actually got little perforations on the end so moisture can move straight up and through into the next one. Whereas with conifers, then the moisture has to come up through these and then up the next one and through, etc. So let's just go back a page or two. There's the drawings. These are conifer cells and the ends are blocked off. These are hardwood cells and they have these perforations in the ends of the cells. Now, you have a thing called the fibre saturation point. So, that's normally at 25% on an oven dried basis. And we'll cover oven dried and wet basis in a minute. But fibre saturation point at 25% oven dried is where the middle, the hollow bit of the cell is dry, but the the cell wall itself has still got a lot of water in it. So as you can appreciate, if you remove the water from within that cell, but the walls are, the walls are still sodden, then the, the timber won't change shape because there's nothing actually shrinking. Below the fibre saturation point, then moisture is let, lost from the cell walls and at that point the cells start to shrink, which is why you get movement in timber. You take, um, as we were saying, 15% moisture content timber and machine a floor out of it and then put it in a, a centrally heated house and it will shrink. It's because the cell walls are shrinking. 
because it's losing water out of the cellular structure. So that's that. So this is a dry basis or oven dry basis moisture meter and I also have this set this um, set of hammer spikes that's for when you're doing really quite big section timber and you want to check the moisture content in the center of the piece of timber so there we go whatever that is 15% Oven dried basis. So, oven dried basis means that if you have a piece of timber and you weigh it, say you split a small piece of timber out and you weigh it, say it weighs, for instance, six ounces, then you stick it somewhere warm, uh, like the warming oven and the rayburn and you leave it there if it's only about half an inch thick this timber will dry fairly quickly so let's say for instance you've left it there for a week and then you weigh it again and it weighs three ounces so effectively what we're saying there is the weight of the timber is three ounces and the weight of the water that you've lost is three ounces so that's how we get the oven dried basis so at a green at green condition before we started drying it we can safely say that the moisture content of that piece of timber was a hundred percent because the water was the same weight as the timber on a wet basis it's um, it, you, it's looked at in a different way uh, and it's effectively saying of the wet weight 50% of that half is water and half is timber so if you have a moisture meter you really must know whether it's a wet basis or a dry basis because if you have a wet basis moisture meter and you dry it down to 15% thinking that's fine for uh, window frames actually it's 30% on a dry basis and so it won't be dry enough so we we'll have to be very careful effectively the the conversion is 1 to 2 so if you have 30% moisture content on a wet basis it's actually 60% on a dry basis. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, maybe we'll do a little drawing. Here we go. I knew there was another use for a chainsaw. There we go. So, I need a pointer. On a wet basis, half of the the timber is water and half is timber that's when it's green freshly felled and you must appreciate that different timbers have different moisture contents so for instance ash has a lower green moisture content than poplar or Norway spruce that sort of thing but generally half and half down here where we've got the oven dried basis the weight of that log is equal to the weight of the water in the bucket. So you dry, you, you cut a small piece of timber, split a small bit out, weigh it, dry it, and then weigh it again. And that gives you the weight of water that you've lost. So when we're talking about joinery and firewood, be very careful, especially firewood, now it's very easy for somebody to say it's 30% moisture content and use a wet basis moisture meter. Um, and so therefore you have a false set of expectations. If you want to read more about moisture content, it's in the book. 
And actually, in there, if I can find it, there is a whole set of oven dry and green weight tables that I, I split bits of timber and dried it. So these are real rather than theoretical.